Howdy. I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted. And today we're going to do a quick one about randomizing those ACs. Yes, everybody wants to randomize their animation controllers. And they don't know how, so here you go. We've got it on, on screen. So our initial state is an item, uh, idle picker. We've got our state idle picker. And then in here, we've got our transitions. And in the transitions, we've got a transition to walk at the very top. And then next, we've got seven idles. The idles have a math.random with 0.0, .0 and 5.0, and then a less than. 0 0.5. So anything less than 0 0.5 goes to Ida 1. Each of these in this tick roll the same random. So you'll get in that tick, they'll all be the same number. So when you have math random here and math random here, it's going to equal the same number. So if it's not less than 0 0.5, Remember, we're doing 0.0, .0 to 5.0. Then it'll ask the next question. Is it between 0 0.6 and 1.0? If it's not, then it's going to go to the next one. And it's going to keep doing it. So in this tick, if the math random is 5.0, then the only one that it would go to is idle 7, down here at the very bottom, greater than 4.75. 5.0, that's down here. Actually, I lied. In this situation, it would go to this one. You can see I actually put idle 6 in here as a sub 1 in here. And you could change these around order-wise, or you could change those. So this is kind of a, hey, this is a really rare one. If you wanted to make this less, you could just have this number be smaller and do 1 or 0 to 1. If you wanted to be bigger, you could do 0 to 100, and you could have 100 idols. It, it's all up to you how you want to do those. To start out, if you just have to, if you just want to have one or two of them, then you could have less than one, and then greater than, and that would give you the same thing. So it goes down when it picks the idol, comes down here, runs the animation. When the animation is done, comes back to the item picker, rolls a new random, because that'd be on a different tick, rolls the new random number, and then runs this again. Goes down, maybe this time it's six, it hits six, and then it comes back around, and this will just keep running and keep running. You can use this in many different places, including the behavior animation controllers and the resource pick animation controllers. So there you go. That's how to do randomizing in your animation controllers. I am Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted. Thanks for watching.